what we got here is one of those emergency glass breaking tools that you would keep in your glove box is really good to have uh, it's got one of the glass breakers in case you're playing with your phone and you're not supposed to while you're driving and you end up in the river once the water pressure is on your window it's just screwed unless you have manual windows then you can just roll it down but tire gauge flashlight knife saw fill up screwdriver regular screwdriver and bottle opener. i think i paid like uh five or six dollars i got it on some stupid website called daily that daily deal i'm not a big fan of it they do have affiliate programs but i'm just the site takes forever to get something i know it's free shipping but i, I don't know how they're doing it they're sending it by hawk or you know harry potter owl or something but it takes absolutely it literally feels like it's coming from china like a drop ship or something it's i really got let's put it this way i really gotta need it <laughs> in order for me to buy from there. I really want it. So this is gonna go in my wife's car because I'd rather her have the safety feature. Um, I used to have one in my other car uh, that I sold to get the money for the camera. Dude, this thing is so sharp. Oh wow, you could kill somebody with this. That's cool. So in case someone's trying to, you know, get in your car or trying to hurt you, it's got a freaking, like a hammer style grip on this. You could kill somebody with this, man. That's a good protective thing. I'm gonna let my wife know in case someone's trying to grab her. Okay, let's put the battery in. Practice what I preach, man. Insignia all the way, son. Alright, so I'm not sure how the pressure, how accurate it is, but I'm gonna go on a limb and say it's probably plus or minus one. So I would say hold it and it shuts off. Yep. Where's the flashlight button? Oh, it's right here. Alright, so let's see. Whoa, Jesus. I think this is like a emergency light. I don't see why you'd need red. And here's the flashlight. Oh, this thing works pretty good for one AAA. Dude, you could literally see everything with this. Wow. Dude, for one AAA battery, that thing is really good. Wow. I'm definitely gonna leave this in my wife's car. I'd rather her have it in case something ever happens, you know? All right, so, holy Jesus, this is sharp. Yeah, this is definitely bound to uh, stainless steel, China. All right, well, it says stainless, but see, how, we'll, we'll find out how good it is. My other one, I don't know if it was stainless, the one I had in my car before, but it, it was all rusted by the time I sold the car. I like this one. This is good for, uh, like, camping. But this thing is, quality-wise, man, it's pretty freaking good. Saw which is good to cut the belt but it's one of those things i i would use for uh, camping or something here's your phillips screwdriver but yeah this thing's got quite the grip on it man i mean basically if this thing lasts you for the money that i paid this thing lasts you two times dude you're on the right track all right so the next thing i got here for this guy for the car one of those things i had a promo code for and i grabbed it i think it was like eight or nine dollars and i paid like between five or six the reason why this such a specific product is the inside of my windshield drives me crazy when it's not clean I hate it and there's always that corner right where when you're driving you're gonna see it with any type of humidity or anything goes on you're gonna notice that little spot that rounded spot or the spot that you missed this freaking thing comes with two of these cloth things that you can wash in the washing machine but since the inside is very hard to reach in especially with a cab for design when you're going in to clean it's like yeah, it just drives me nuts, man. No matter what you do, I never get it right. So this, you spray it down with the uh, Windex. I tried it the other day. It's actually, the build quality is really good. So here you go. There's one, one of these, and then here's the other one right here. So they just come right off, just like that. See? Plastic is pretty good. It bends as much as it needs to. Um, this thing would goes here, right? And then you would push down. And then what you do is you just turn this, pull it out, tight, tightening it back up, and then you got, you know, the uh, the length that you would need. Nice tool. This is aluminum, and the rest of it's plastic. This has got a rubber feel to it, a rubber plastic feel, so it's like a combination of the two put together. But I definitely recommend this. All right, so here's the next product right here. When we bought the house, I bought four of these. A sale or clearance I don't know what it was uh, they're from newegg.com and this name is the in-house brand name that they use it's, it basically it's all it is is just a rebranding name but the quality of the things that they put the name on is like very good this thing here uh, an alarm for the windows I have a security system in my house and I also have these in all my windows downstairs all of them so I got double the security what I did was I screwed them in. Don't you can use the double-sided tape that comes with it, but I prefer to screw it in. It's harder to rip off. If you're a smart criminal, uh, all you gotta do is rip them off and throw them in the toilet, and then nobody will hear. This thing here it goes off. You, everybody within a half a mile radius will hear it. You put this onto an enemy, and you leave them in there while this thing is buzzing. Eventually, their ears will stop bleeding within like a minute. That's how loud it is. I bought four and I, only, I used three already. 
Um, it says here that the batteries last, I think, six months. 100 dB, which is like freaking crazy. It works on two AAA batteries. It says it lasts up to six, four to six months, right? Trust me when I tell you, it's it goes on a lot longer. Because when we first moved in, I've only changed these batteries once. And every like spring, when we're cleaning the inside of the windows, I always check to make sure they're still working. And they work, believe me. <laughs> they last a long time. The good thing about these, it's not like the cheap ones from the dollar stores, they have a screw. So in order for you to get to the, uh, the batteries, you have to remove the screw. It comes with four screws to mount this magnet and to mount the unit itself. You can use the double sided tape. I think for something for this purpose, if you want to get the full, like the real use out of it, I would recommend screwing them in. It's harder for people to remove them. If you go all out to get something like this, just do it right. There's an LED on it where this button shows. I don't know why there's a button there. The LED flashes when the alarm is going off. Definitely recommend it. If I cannot find this online, I know that this is discontinued on Newegg. I will find it on eBay or Amazon. I'll find the exact same one, possibly different color. This is just a rebranded product. I'll just make sure that the specs is the same. All right, so the next product, I bought this from Amazon from China. So by the time I got the box, it was like destroyed. I haven't tried this yet, but, and let's get started. I bought a cheap one. This is only a 10 inch light. Um, my expectations for this were not very high. I wanted to start with something. I needed a ring light because I noticed in a couple of my videos, I didn't have enough light. This literally runs on like, I could put a battery pack in my pocket and attach this to the camera if I wanted to, and this would be powered fine. Like, that's how much power this thing takes. I think it runs on like one amp. So I'm gonna plug it in and see. Here it has, uh, this is the power. This is to increase and decrease the dimness. And this is to switch through. There's three different colors. You got daylight. I think there's like a yellow light. And then you have like a regular color light. Here we go. Oh, it's just pretty. It's blue. That's dope. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Wow, this is, this is more than I expected, a lot more. Wow, look at that, man, what a difference. Let's see what they got for colors. So you got that warm, that warm light that I hate. Regular white, daylight, so that's the blue. Yellow, regular. Wow, this thing works really good. Wow. This thing is super fast. Dude, all I need is like two of these things. That's it. I don't even need like anything else. This is as low as it goes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It only has nine increase and decreasing. If you're like me and you're just starting out, this thing is definitely worth it. Believe me when I tell you. Because my expectations for this thing were so low. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even kidding. You know, it's 15 bucks. I don't want to spend 50 on a light right now. $50 I could have used towards my, my Canon. So that's why, that's how I see it. Right now, more important thing was my camera. So I think I'm going to end up keeping this a lot longer than I expected. Because there's nothing wrong with this light. Literally, I can put this mounted on the camera and just keep that little battery pack in my pocket. Yeah, I recommend this. 15 bucks. But I give that a 10 out of 10, just so you guys know. The next product is going to be something strange that nobody ever thinks about. I bought this because I have a lot of batteries. I go through batteries like crazy, and it's not for vibrators, okay? Because my penis still works. Controllers in my house, it's a Philips controllers that just eat batteries. I'm not even kidding you. I, I don't know why. I like to use rechargeables. But the rechargeables, they don't last that long in that type of environment. It's like using rechargeable batteries in your camera. It, it just doesn't work, man. I like to have batteries for emergencies for when I need them. And I like to have batteries for my controllers. So I have all types of batteries. You know, you got fire alarms nowadays. They don't take the 9 volt. They take the double A's. You need to always have double A batteries around. I, have, I wanted this something to store and be organized. I'm not sure how many people in this world are like me, but I doubt very much as many, if there's any. But if you look at this freaking awesome piece of work right here, and not to mention this. Oh, okay, there is, okay, I'm an idiot. 
This thing tests batteries. Okay? Like a lot of the batteries that come with uh, a lot of electronics nowadays are usually garbage. So this part here is universal for all these types of uh, missile looking batteries. This will hold a D, this will hold a C, a AAA and a AA. And the coin batteries that come with your motherboards and your computer. You just you just wedge those little suckers in here like this. It's back. It's got a little grip. You put your uh, your battery polarity. See plus negative. Put this in and you squeeze it. See what it says? Good. So as long as it's within the green. And I bought this because I want to mount this. This whole unit is gonna get mounted in my tool room. I'll stop talking now.